circle, either use a compass or draw around an object. Shade from the inside line. So have the point of the pencil pointing towards the line, inside of the line like this. And so we're going to hold the pencil fairly flat, not upright, not upright like that, but more flat so that you can have an easier motion with the wrist. Sometimes I rest my finger on the paper, but I'm going to shade back from the line in small motions, like you're spraying the lead onto the paper. So I'm going to shade back really, really gently from the line. There we go. To create a subtle gradient. Don't press really heavily to begin with. Just do it really lightly so that you don't have any marks, pencil marks on the paper. So you're going to go round a lot of the circle like this and this way having the pencil pointing to the edge of the line stops you from going over the line so we're keeping from going over the line by having the pencil pointing to the outside of the line so carefully go around very very lightly now if you find it easier to turn the paper as you're going um, it's easier angle for your hand so you don't want to have your hand at an awkward angle so pointing towards the line gently shade back from the line a light very light tone you can have it slightly heavier on the line if you like so you go all the way around the shape like this. Don't shade across the whole of the circle. We're just shading the inside of the of the line here. So back. Now in order to make it look round we're going to have to think of the direction of where the light is coming from. So I'm just going to shade back from the line slightly all the way around, just a little bit. Now I'm going to imagine that the light source is coming from this direction. So it's going to be hitting the sphere about here. So we want to leave a sort of oval shape towards the top of the, the sphere um, clear, that's clear. So now I'm going to continue building across the circle with a flat even um, covering. Now if you find that you've got some pencil marks and you want to even them out and you've pressed a bit too heavily you can use your rubber, the flat end of the rubber, to just sort of smooth over slightly and it does smooth over the uh, paper slightly. So I'm going to build up really, really carefully another layer. So you're building up the layers really carefully and slowly with the shading so you get a nice subtle gradient so that there's no strong contrast. If you're finding that you're getting a bit too much contrast, say for instance you've pressed too heavily like this, you can use the rubber, the flat part of the rubber, just to even it out like that. So now I'm going to build slowly across the rubber. Now if you find that you've covered too much of the um, area where the light source is hitting it, you can also use your rubber to rub back into it to remove some of the, uh, the light point area. So I'm just going to use the rubber to rub back into that. 
So now I'm going to press a bit more heavily on the edge so that there's more contrast and you can see that I'm slowly building the gradient across the sphere. Well, we might want to you might find it easier to turn the paper. Oops. To get a good angle for your hand. Now to stop your hand from rubbing across any drawing that you might have, um, you might want to put another piece of paper to cover your drawing. So I'm just getting another piece of paper. And I'm going to put the paper on the area so I'm not smudging it with my hand. So I'm not getting black all over the back of my hand. So I'm going to cover that part of my drawing. And shade back. To create the gradient. Now I'd like to put a shadow, um, a shadow under my round sphere shape that I'm creating. And if I want to have it looking like it's got a shadow on it, then you would get a sphere like a sort of oval shadow if the light source is coming from this direction. And then you would shade this in down here. Now, if I do shade this, it starts to merge with the edge of the ball and it starts, the ball starts to edge, starts to disappear. So um, in order to bring that contrast back, and if the if the ball is sitting on a white table, you get a reflection from the white table back onto the ball. So I'm just going to use the rubber to put in the edge of the rubber to lighten just this part, which is sitting on the table. If it's sitting on a white table, you get a reflection off the white table or surface. And... Um, onto the edge and you get a slightly lighter edge of the sphere just like that so you get a slightly whiter edge shade back from the line so that you don't see the line and now you can see a stronger contrast between the edge of the sphere and then the surface that it's sitting on without having to do a heavy black line to make it stand out. Now I could if I want to build up the shadow a little bit more and if I want the edge of the circle just to stand out I just go over it I can just make it a little bit darker to make it stand out like that 